And we are back. Danny Myers, the Bard God. We are going to continue my series, Pension, How to Improve Your Rhyme Writing Skills. This is part two. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of tutorial videos on how to improve your rhyme writing skills as an MC or a battle rapper or a rapper or whatever it is in general. I'm just going to give you some of the things that I've learned over the years. Right here, we have a basic example of... This is six bars. So, first of all, this is how I write my bars. I write each bar per line. And when I get to the end of the sentence, I'll put a little slash mark right there. So, that's one bar. Then I go down to the next one. That's two, three, four, five, six. So, here's some basic information. Bars are always even numbers. I think Prodigy might have been the only rapper who rapped with odd number of bars. Like, sometimes he would say a bar and not even say the next one or not complete the bar he had his own little rhyming style it was kind of weird but for the most part rhyming has to come in pairs of two you have to have a a, a setup bar or a punchline bar whatever it is you want to call it but bars definitely are even numbers so there's no such thing as five bars seven bars 37 bars nine you get what i'm saying ain't no such thing as an odd number of bars bars are always two when you hear rappers say i got a hot 16 it's because they got a set of eight and another set of eight okay so this is six bars this right here is a basic rhyme pattern It's really just some stuff i wrote in two minutes it's not any punchline. there's no complexity to it we will get to how to write punchlines. We will get to how to uh, write uh, allegory, uh, metaphors, the difference between metaphors, similes, entendres, triple entendres, double entendres. We're going to get to all the meat and potatoes, but right now we're going to outline some of the basic things that you, whether you're a battle rapper or just a regular rhyme writer, these are some of the basic things that you need to know. First of all, as I explained, a bar is simply one sentence in your rap. So... This little trash stuff that I wrote right here. I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit with the back of a pen. Battlers cheat the people when there's a lack of a band. They should be kidnapped and tossed in the back of a van. I walk the path of a man. Though the road is not clear cut, we veer but not knowing what's ahead keep, keeps us geared up. Damn, that's actually kind of tight when I... <laughs> I might have to use that shit one day. Don't steal my bars! All y'all niggas... Okay, uh, so we're going to get back to it. Wrath of a fan, back of a pan, lack of a band, back of a van. All rhyme. And we're not just rhyming fan, pan, band, van. We're rhyming wrath of a, back of a, lack of a, back of a. This is called syllable structure. Well, you'll, you'll notice the difference between basic MCs and, and a little bit more... Uh, technically advanced writers you can listen and know if somebody's nice or not just by their syllable structure the syllables have to match up and they have to be an even number of syllables in order for the rhyme to work otherwise it will sound off remember in our in the last episode we talked about phonetics and how things sound to the human ear how the words sound to the listener does it have a nice flow to it? Does it have a nice rhythm to it? The key, the key substance of having a nice flow and rhythm is knowing how to uh, properly structure your sounds, your syllables. So let's let me give you an example. I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit with the back of a pan. Battlers cheat the people when there's a lack of a band. They should be kidnapped and tossed in the back of a van. Now, I did not say I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit in the front of a pan, with the front of a pan. So even though fan, is, so if I said it like that, fan and pan would rhyme. You don't want to be a one syllable rhymer. You don't want to say, uh, me and my homeboys got a cat. And one day, that cat got hit with a bat. And after that, the cat had a spat. 
and I don't want to ever rhyme nothing again like that. Did y'all just hear that? I'm rhyming cat bad that. Yeah, that all rhymes and that works in the Dr. Seuss books. But when you want to become a professional rhyme writer, if you want to have a successful career in battling or just writing raps, you want to rhyme more than just one syllable. And now we're going to we're going to really get into the like I said, we're going to get so deep into this matrix of this writing. But this is why I'm giving y'all super basic examples of I did not rhyme wrath of a wrath of a fan and front of a pen because wrath of a fan in front of a pen don't sound nothing alike. Yeah, the pen and fan part rhyme, but wrath of a van, wrath of a fan rhymes with back of a pen. Wrath of a fan. Back of a pen. Four syllables. Listen, check it out. Wrath of a fan. Back of a pen. Lack of a pen. Back of a van. All that sounds exactly alike. It sounds close enough together to where it sounds good to the ear. So you don't want to do, you don't, your syllables always got to match up. Whether you're doing two syllables, three, four, five, six, seven, eight syllable words or, or, or a sequence of words that all rhyme. We're going to get into those. Uh, we're going to get into those also. So let's continue. So these are four bar. This is a four bar. This is a four bar rhyme sequence. And, 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 and as, if you notice after back of a van, we get down to clear cut, gear it up. Now, look at the damn ant. God damn it. <laughs> okay. So, clear cut clearly does not rhyme with back of a van. We have changed the rhyming sequence in the next two bars. So, on bar number five and six, I changed it up. I didn't want to rhyme. I could have rhymed back of a van, back of a van. I could have did that for 18 bars, 20 bars. I could have did that for 100 bars if I wanted to. I could have kept that same rhyme sequence going, but you... Me, personally, I don't like to go over four bars with the same sounding rhyme sequence. Not often. I just recently did it with the chess battle just to show people I can do it. I did like 12, 16 bars of, of the same rhyming sequence in my first round. Uh, and, you know, I do it every now and then. But for the most part, I kind of I, I don't want to have the same sounding because it's it, it becomes monotone, kind of just all starts to sound the same after a while. So you kind of want to switch up your rhyme pattern, your rhyme sequence after four bars. Or, you know, whatever. It's your cho your choosing. You want to do eight bars, you want to do 12 bars, that's on you. I'm just saying. But I'm just showed you why I switch. And check this out. This is one of the key things that you guys need to know. Damn. Get damn it. Ants. Okay. Back to it. I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit with the back of a pan. Battlers cheat the people when there's a lack of a band. They should be kidnapped and tossed in the back of a van. I walk the path of a man. Though the road is not clear cut. So clearly you see right here, I continued the back of the van, back of the back, lack of a van, lack of a, all that. I continued all that right here in my segue bar. I'm un, let me underline this. Let me hold on. Right here, in this right here, this is a segue. This half of a bar, I walk the path of a man, is a segue which connected to this. It connected to these because it rhymed with those, but it segued into the next set of bars. So I said, I walk the path of a man, though the road is not clear cut. So now when I get to the end of this bar, clear cut is now the new rhyming words. This is the new, I want to rhyme clear cut. Now, if I want to go gear it up, fear up, sear it up on these next bars, I can I can do that if I want to. Or I could switch the rhyme pattern again on these next two. So I so I already rhymed something with clear, okay, clear cut, gear it up. Now, watch this. Way over here, we veer, but not knowing what's ahead keeps us geared up. This is a This is inside compound rhyming. I'm rhyming within the rhyme. I'm rhyming within the bar. Before I even get to the end of the, the sentence, this is normally where we rhyme. Us rappers, we rhyme at the end of the sentences. You want to be a little more slick, a little more complex. You can rhyme before you get to the end of the sentence. And that's why I gave you an example right here. So here you, look, check this out. Check this out. Yeah, we, at, we, we going to church today, baby. Bar God is teaching class. Pay attention. 
right here. This is a segue. Check to this, this right here. I walked the path of a man. That rhymed with this. I segued with the same rhyming sound. Back of a van, lack of a lack of a band, uh, uh, back of a pan, all that. I segued that when I went right down here with path of a man. Path of a man, back of a van, lack of a band, back of a pan, wrath of a fan. Those four syllables, those four words, they're they're all rhyming together. So this is the segue. Now, once I got to my segue, there's a comma right there, and then I go into my next rhyme pattern. I'm on the thought process. So right here's the thought process. I walk the path of a man, though the road is not clear cut. We veer, but we veer off the path. We veering off the path or the road, path, road, veer. We veer off the path, not knowing what's ahead keeps us geared up. Now, my next bar, I could actually segue again from geared up with they fear us. Yet I'm still doing this rhyme demonstration. This is all for your mind's penetration, whatever, right? Pause if needed. But um, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm just showing you right here. This is a four-bar rhyme sequence. Even if I just wanted to do two bars, even if I just wanted to do two bars and segue, I could have segue right here if I wanted to. I could have segue on the next bar. The the important message of this particular video is when you are writing your rhymes, you want to make sure that your ending syllables all match up. So I don't want to have four syllables, right? Check this out. Let me show y'all. Let me just show y'all instead of telling you. I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit with a pan. Okay. I would have messed up. I would have messed up my entire bar if I just simply, if I changed one of the words that rhymed with each other. So I never want to deal with the wrath of a fan. It feels like getting hit with the front of a pen. Battlers cheat the people when there's not a band. They should be kidnapped and tossed on the side of a van. I would have messed up the whole rhyming sequence if I changed those words around. You understand what I'm saying? Wrath of a fan, back of a pan, lack of a band, back of a van, path of a man. Now we go to clear cut, veer butt, gear it up. All that rhymes together. The, the amount of syllables is very important. If I'm going to do two bars, let, let's just take, let's take, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. My handwriting is bad. Please forgive me. This is why I write my bars on my phone. Let's do this. Let's go like that. Uh, let's do, let's do like that and do quite whack. Like that, quite whack. Rhymes, rhymes close enough. Rhymes good enough. Like that, quite whack, right? These are two words, two syllables. Like that, quite whack. Let's say I said like that. Let's say I two, let's do like that and do real whack. Like that real whack that might rhyme to the average listener's ear but to a professional to a trained ear like that does not rhyme with real whack yeah like once i once again the ending word rhymes that and whack but like i said we don't want to do single syllable rhymes like that real whack don't rhyme like that quite whack uh let's keep y'all help me out y'all give me some words that rhyme with like that like that quite whack fight back uh nice raps uh, uh, dice rack, fight, ice, ice pack. Um, you know, we could keep going forever. You want the same amount of syllables for one, you want the same amount of syllables, and you want those syllables to all rhyme. Some of the best examples are rhymers like Jada Kiss, Fabulous, Eminem. Just listen to their structure in their rhyming sequences, listen to how all the syllables are rhyming together. Okay, that, that's going to do it for this episode. We will be back. We definitely will be back with episode three. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to be plenty more, and I'm going to be giving, giving hands-on examples. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Tweet me, uh, Facebook me, inbox me if you have any questions. Um, if, if I'm doing something wrong, point it out to me. But... 
I'm I'm just trying to give you 28 years of, of writing. I'm trying to give it to you guys through this YouTube series and, you know, really be helpful if you guys subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Peace.